what are your personal expectations after this project, actually, when you saw it during yesterday and today, you could kind of formulate them somehow? This is sad, but I have no expectations. <laughs> in a sense. Well, uh, before before I saw the projects, uh, my expectations were to. Um, I was curious. I was curious to learn uh, what people will invent, invent uh, what type of uh, creativity uh, I'll be faced with, and um, after. I got to know the projects and also people who made them. Uh, I am uh, similarly looking forward and I'm curious about the uh, realizations of them. Um, <laughs> uh, there is a kind of uh, topic we had yesterday just uh, actually just open of the activism and uh, could you uh, actually a little bit uh, position these words, what you have seen, actually mixture of architect, artist and people from dancing and artists. Could you position it in some kind of art field today? Is this kind of some kind of general general kind of feeling that these things are now uh, actual in the in the, in the field of art from the point of, from the point of art critics? Many projects of uh, Architectural acupuncture are similar to words of uh, social activists that work on the field of visual arts. It's hard to distinguish what is what. Uh, what I think uh, comes mainly from the field of architecture uh, is a, a need uh, to uh, fulfill uh, some uh, task, some function. Um, and for architecture, it is easy to tell uh, if it's good or bad, uh, if we will think about the function of the building. We know it's comfortable to live in, uh, uh, we know that uh, it gives shelter and uh, serves the purpose that was built for. It is a little bit different with, with, with visual art or art in general, because we don't know exactly what this function is. Um, there is always this uh, uh, unexpected uh, element uh, that is connected with art. So, uh, in a sense, uh, uh, these uh, interventions, this type of uh, very ephemeral work, uh, is quite close to architecture in my sense, uh, because it serves uh, similar goals as architecture does, but without construction, without building. Uh, it uh, improves social environment, it improves the environment uh, in, in general. Um, of course, uh, uh, this borders uh, with uh, politics, because the environment, the social environment, is not only defined by forms we live in, buildings, structures, uh, but also by political climate, uh, by the structure of the society. And uh, many of these projects work with the structure of the society. They are changing it slightly. Um, some of them up to the point where you, know, you take out one beam and the whole building collapses. And some of the, some of the creations of social activism or architectural acupuncture works in that very same way. Like you do something very simple and uh, historically built uh, construction will collapse. Uh, you say improvement, uh, and uh, I have a feeling that you're putting this uh, improvement as, as an architectural topic, uh, as, as, a, as a kind of method developed by architects. The, 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 could you make actually the, the, the inverse statement of it, that it's not true of artists anymore? Uh, of course not. Uh, it's been always a dream of uh, artists, especially artists of 20th century, uh, not to invent new forms, uh, uh, but to change life. Uh, uh, art is not enough. 
what, what is needed or what is the goal uh, is to change the way we live, uh, which is totally megalomaniac uh, uh, goal. Uh, it's been never fulfilled, uh, but artists still try, uh, and uh, I believe they uh, they will continue with that uh, because. This is the task of the artist uh, today and also in the past. Bara just posed me the question, <laughs> uh, which is, I, I will read it. Uh, it, is, it, is, it, it is a mistake that we don't, didn't uh, talk about politics in the whole, whole topics, because that is something we didn't open at all. Well, one of the reasons why we don't talk about politics is that um, me and maybe the organizers, we are still part of a generation uh, that hoped uh, that um, we got rid of politics uh, uh, once forever, uh, that everything was solved uh, in uh, 1989 and uh, we don't have to care anymore. And so it's much more difficult for us to get enthusiastic about political issues. Uh, but that's been 20 years ago. There's a new generation of people, a uh, generation of people that is not afraid to use uh, terminology um, of uh, uh, left politics uh, that is sometimes difficult for us to use just because we have to connect it uh, uh, with, with history. And uh, that is a natural, natural process. Um, I, I, well, why don't we talk about politics? Um, we will, because we will have to start a fight <laughs> right away. <laughs> so uh, we, 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 we stayed at very. Uh, Constructive way of discussion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think you, you, you come to the answer you want to, to hear. Uh, uh, can, can, can we talk about politics? Can, actually, can we do these things without politics? Is it possible to speak about public space, art in public space, without this issue? Of course, we cannot talk about public space uh, without politics because uh, they equal uh, each other. Uh, somehow we managed, I don't know. <laughs>